Hey, what's going on? Ultimo Gallows, DIY Mystic Filmworks. It ain't just matches, it ain't just interviews, it ain't just, you know, personal magazine filters. I do collect figures. Not a lot. Very specific. It's got to be a you know, wrestler I'm a huge fan of. And I've mentioned before, my local Walmart never hardly got any AEW figures. Like, I hardly saw any AEW figures. And just recently, we had a flood of them, like a huge amount. And I'll, I'll pick a few. I got an MJF. I think I've done a video on that. But one of the other guys in AEW I really wanted to figure of was this, Eddie Kingston. I've been an Eddie Kingston fan for far back as I can really remember that I knew of him. I first saw him like a... It's like Jersey Championship, uh, Jersey All Pro, or CZW, Song Shakara, you know. What was that Fed? Like, didn't he work for the Fed that the SATs ran up in New York? Like, you're seeing him all over. He's one of those guys where he just looks like that badass you see on Friday sitting on the stool in the bar that you don't want to fuck with. So I saw he had a figure. I'm like, hell yeah, this is number 73. Man, AEW's got 73 figures out already. Uh, multiple heads, multiple hands, comes a card. I was tempted to not open this. I've been debating that, debating that, debating that, debating that. Am I going to open this? Am I going to open this? Am I going to open this? And I was like, uh, you know, I, I might sell it. I might sell it. And then I finally said, you know, fuck that. I love me Smitty Kingston, and I'm so happy he's getting known. Because I was watching the ICW... I see W No Holes Barred. What was it? it? Was oh god, I can't remember which event it was. That's one held outside up in the middle of nowhere. He gets the ring somehow. You know, he borrowed these boots from somebody. He's retiring from wrestling. But you know what? Cody Rhodes. I want that match. And then boom, he shows up a couple weeks later. He gets that match. He made a list of people he wanted to face, and he got that match. He shows up on AEW and gets that job. And boom, doing great. And I, I don't know. Some about the guys just like oh, this dude, you know. He seems legit. You know what I'm saying? He seems, and I love he did this. He did this uh, interview one time. He's coming out. Somebody, you know, because you see here, uh, right here, he's got a rosary around his neck. Most people don't know it's a rosary. And he said something about, you know, I'm Puerto Rican and Irish. <laughs> so he goes, I'm Catholic on both sides, through and through. I got that Catholic guilt running through me, and it shows. Well, let's check this figure out. So. Okay, so, oh, you know, I'm going to be nice. I'm not going to rip the package. I'm going to cut this little bit of tape. I know there's some people out there, oh, my God, you're opening it. Trust me. I have had quite a few people want this. Once they found out I had it, I'm like, it's not going away. You know, I didn't think I was going to sell it. I was pretty sure it's for a... Part of the, oh yeah, screw that. I'm fixing to rip this. Yeah, here we go. Arr, rip it. And look at that. Eddie Kingston. Look at this. Look at this set here. Now we had Eddie Kingston. We had Brian Cage, Ricky Stark, Christian Cage, Thunder Rosa, and Powerhouse Hobbs. I never saw the Hobbs. I saw all the rest of these. And here's the weird thing the same Walmart this came from, my buddy found the Thunder Rosa Limited, or whatever they call it. What do they call their limited things? I don't remember. So wait a minute, how do you. Does, does it not slot out? No, you have to, you really do have to shred this package and even halfway get this figure out. Wow, you really do. Just shred the shit out of it. What's it say on the back? Uh, all out, blah, blah, okay. It don't have, like, I thought he had stats. I'm curious how tall Eddie Kingston's listed at. I would say he's six foot. Oh. Oh, new card, man. Let's check out this card. It's Upper Deck. And if you are a baseball card collector, remember, or a card collector, remember the 90s and all the stuff with Upper Deck? There's a book about the history of Upper Deck and how they did some shady stuff. Not illegal stuff, shady stuff. Because the whole thing with baseball cards and sports cards is, you know, one print run, that's it. And, like, you don't just, you know, if you know a card and that runs value, you don't just print multiples and multiples of it. You know, you print the whole fucking cheat. Well, upper deck, supposedly with a hockey set that was supposed to be limited, and then the King Griffith Jr. rookie were just printing out like massive amounts of them. Let's see what this card looks like. I gotta get a hard case to put it in. I don't think I got a hard case laying around. Because I want to meet Eddie Kingston. I have told every local promoter, look, I know he's expensive. 
But I would love to see Eddie Kingston locally, and everyone's like, yeah, I would too. He's expensive. Yeah, I mean, you know how many extra tickets they would have to sell to... Oh, it's like a pack of... Okay. So I got... Oh, Adam Page. Colt Cabana. And John Silver. Okay, well, anybody want these? Mr. Ginger, I know you're an Adam Page fan, so I don't want any of that. First one, I think it had a card in it. Let's take most of this out. Right over there. That's right, so the first thing. We got an extra head. Then we got extra hands. Of course, you. I do love that they they come up with the you know that you get the extra hands. You get all this stuff now. Because, I mean, as much as these figures will run you, you know, you're going to pay about 20, 20, probably about 22 bucks, I think, with everything. If you buy them brand new at a store. I love the hands. Uh, it looks just like Eddie in the faces. The, the rosary is removable if you pull the head off. Okay, okay. Put the head back on. And then we got multiple hands. So let's pop us some hands out. And I will eventually have... Oh, man. My hand is not wanting to come out. Let's try. Sorry for hitting my camera there. I'm trying to... Awesome here. Man, they do not want you to get that out. Like at all. That is. I don't want to break the damn hand. Jesus. I ain't never had one that was this hard to get out. And I, I, my other thing is that to me, Kingston now is kind of like a ring armor guy <laughs> because of the ring armor, you know, him taking on Claudio just recently and then doing that, which that's a good place to put Kingston. He would fit in perfectly. I want to say, didn't he do a Ring of Honor run back in the day? I mean, I mostly know him from, you know, CZW and all this indie work. And then all them crazy interviews he'd do. Yeah, you know, he's one of them guys where he just, he spoke his mind. And sure, I'm sure it probably cost him a lot of opportunities. But now, you know, he's doing great. Okay, we got one last one to get out. Man. These hands. Next to impossible to get out of here. Okay. All that trash. Okay, so let's pull that hand down. We got what we got for left hands. I want a fist. I just realized that. Eddie King and Kingston come with shocker hands. But he's like, yeah, shocker, baby. Not the Spider-Man villain. Actually, I like this face better. Did they get the eye? I didn't look and see if they got the eyebrow. Uh, close. Because he always has that shaved eyebrows. Put his rosary back on him. That is a badass looking figure, man. Look at that. That is so badass. But I hope y'all enjoyed that, man. This is only my third AEW figure. I have a Miro, which I got for next to nothing. Somebody found it on clearance, so I got it cheap. I have a 
MJF, which I got on clearance, and then I have this Eddie Kingston that I paid full price for. And I've sold uh, MJF, or Ricky Starks. Uh, I got a second Hangman page that's getting ready to be sold. Uh, what else? That's it for you. Oh, the Cody Rhodes LGN looking thing, all that. I've sold quite a few, but I'm out, everybody. Laters.